Hey, as I said, good afternoon, good evening. It's Billy P coming to you live from Manila, the Philippines. Uh, today, I'm just going to be discussing with you guys, just sharing with you guys uh, pretty much my whole itinerary, my trip from uh, the U.S. back here to the Philippines. This is my third trip back here, I believe, third or fourth trip. And each time, it's been different, guys. Uh, there are a lot of hiccups along the way. Uh, having the right paperwork, having the right uh, the things to say and what not to say, things like that. Um, I'm just here to share with you guys just that little experience that I just had. This is my second day here in the Philippines now. I'm in my quarantine hotel room, uh, quarantine hotel room. There's, uh, <clears throat> there's a good many people here in the hotel too, a lot of uh, OFWs. A lot of them I know didn't make it home, I have not made it home. Uh, so that's what this video is about and um, if you guys uh, you guys have followed me, you know what it is that I do, I make and uh, play music and um, I love doing that, I play it all over the world so if you uh, like what you hear please uh, like and subscribe to that channel so if you just hit that button right there you'll make my day alright so with that being said let's get this thing started I'm going to share with you guys that little trip that I just had so here we go boom take it away Good afternoon, good evening. This is Billy P coming to you live, live from the Philippines, guys. I am currently here in the Philippines, Manila, in my quarantine hotel. Um, I wanted to do some of this last night, the day before, but just that trip alone just took so much out of me that uh, you know all I had to do or all I wanted to do was sleep. So um, I've been working on some of my blogs, been working on some of my music. You guys know me. I'm all over the world as much as I can be when I, when I, when I travel. So, but I wanted to get a little bit more in depth about my travels here. Uh, I posted a video earlier of just the travel itself. It was a 49 hour trip. Um, the reason it was 49 hours was because I tried to book this flight almost a month, month and a half out. And even at that time, ticket prices were ridiculous. And I'm talking, they were anywhere from you know, three to four to five thousand U.S. dollars coming one way, and uh, you know what's going on when when ticket prices are like that. I, for me, I just thought airlines were gouging people. Uh, for one reason, Christmas, and number two, of course, it was easy to do. You know, people want to come to the Philippines. Well, they're going to try and get get you to, to buy those ridiculous tickets. Anyway, uh, my trip started out. Uh, you know, I've been on contract. Came back to the U.S. to do some contract work. But, uh, but my trip started out in Atlanta. Uh, my itinerary took me from Atlanta to Toronto, Canada, from Canada to South Korea, South Korea to Guam, and Guam on into the Philippines. And I just wanted to make this video for all of you guys and girls that are trying to travel here to the Philippines that are foreigners like myself. I know that there's a lot going on with the OFWs. I actually feel sorry for them because a lot of them can't even come back to their own countries uh, because of this quote-unquote variant thing. I'm not knocking it, but my gosh, you know, you can't even come back to your own country. Uh, but anyway, this video is for you guys and girls, like I said, that are, uh, that are eligible to come back to the Philippines like I was. Um, I came here on a 9A visa it's because I'm married. Um, I, I now live here. I make my home here. So I go back between here, the U.S., and Belize. Uh, we we, we kind of do that as well. But uh, I make my home here now with my wife, and uh, so I come here on a 9A visa. And I just want to tell you guys and girls, uh, right now, if you're not married to a, a Filipina or a uh, Filipino here in the Philippines, um, they're not allowing you to come to the country. You have to, have a, you have to either be a part of the Balik Bayan program or have a visa or an ex ex extended visa to come here. Um, Let's see. So again, my travel started out in Atlanta, Georgia. There were hiccups along the way. Um, I want to tell you, you guys and girls, all honesty, um, one thing, book your flights out month, month and a half in advance. Unfortunately, Christmas is here, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult because tickets are very expensive. Uh, number two, 
your your RT PCR test. I noticed coming here, uh, just out of Atlanta, I noticed two, three couples that were fully vaccinated, okay, fully vaccinated, but you know what? They weren't allowed to get on the flights because they didn't have that PT-PCR test. Go figure. My question is at this point, what's the point of having a full vaccination if you have to have that also uh, to get on a plane? So uh, I just thought that was very strange. But anyway, these couples, they didn't make the flight. Uh, they were flying from Toronto. Uh, no, they were fly flying from Atlanta to Toronto like I was, but they weren't allowed on the flight because they didn't have that PT PCR test. So make sure you get that. And with that being said, what I did is I made sure that it was done the day before I flew. Because keep in mind, when you're, when you're traveling from like the US, you're always gonna be one day behind here in the Philippines. So the time will always work out for you. They're, they're one full day, 13, 14 hours ahead of us back in the US. So I made sure my flight flew out at 6 p.m. on, uh, what was it, Saturday morning, I believe? Yes, Saturday morning, Sunday, I forget. Um, <laughs> That's my mind is gone. But anyway, my, my, flew out, my flight flew out at about 6 p.m. Um, so I went that afternoon and got my PCR, PT, PCR heart test done. So that, it, that way it would be valid once I got to the Philippines, 72 hours. But check this out. Even as I was traveling, uh, there were questions about that test because uh, they, were, they were trying to decipher if the test was valid in, in regards to the time. Uh, South Korea, oh my gosh, I didn't think I was going to get on my flight because I had probably five or six different uh, agents in the airport looking at my passport, looking at all my paperwork. They went through all of my bags uh, because they, they, they wanted to make sure that the time that I had my test done matched and would uh, coincide with what the Philippines were requiring because I flew from South Korea into Guam. And apparently Guam has, has a big, big to do about people coming in and out of the country. Well, good thing for me, I'm an American citizen. Uh, Guam is also, you know, part of the U.S. So that, that helped out a lot. But anyway, I was able to get on that flight. So I, I urge you to make sure that you do this 72-hour thing. You know, think about it. If you fly out on a Saturday, go on a Friday and get your, your test done. If you fly out on a Sunday, uh, you better find some place to get it done on a Saturday. Uh, but during the weekdays, it should be easier. If you're flying on it on Tuesday or Wednesday, you know you can do it a day in, in advance. You know what I'm saying? But just make sure you got that document done. And again, for those of you that aren't vaccinated, like me, I'm not vaccinated, don't ever plan to be, um, make sure that you have that PT, PCR test done uh, in enough time so you can uh, get through these, uh, these borders uh, the way that they've got things going on now. And, you know, I'm here in Manila right now, and I'm hearing all kinds of things. The other day I heard while I was traveling that they've moved the quarantine back to 14 days. I got here. That's not true. I apologize. That was in my previous vlog. But it's not true. It's not 14 days. However, they did push my quarantine back one more day. So now I'm here seven nights and eight days. And the rest I'm supposedly to finish once I get to where I'm going when I, when I finish here. Um... Again, I don't really know why people are, are getting vaccinated if they can't if they have to have not only the, the, the card, the fully vaccinated card plus the PT PCR test. What's the point? I don't get that. It makes no sense. Um, also, uh, guys, when you when you're traveling here, your money. When you get on the plane, you're gonna get a document that's gonna ask you if you're carrying any more than fifty thousand pesos or anything that's equivalent to that um, in, in their money. Uh, I had a problem trying to answer that the correct way because they already know that most of us are traveling with $50,000 or more in pesos uh, because of the, the value, you know, between the U.S. and the dollar. So um, you may want to answer that correctly because if they pull you off the plane and they search you and they do have every right to search you here in this country and they will do it and they find more than what you listed on that document, you could be kicked out or you could be fined or you could go to jail here. So just be on your P's and Q's about that. I'm not trying to tell you how to do that, but you may or, or may not want to answer that question the right way. Um, like I said, that's, that's up to you. You have to decide for that uh, yourself. 
Um, an another thing is, is once you get here, and this has just been my experience, once you get here, you gotta, you gotta realize that you cannot leave this hotel. I mean, they are very strict about that. All of the food that I've been getting, my wife has been ordering it for me through, uh, uh, what is it, uh, food panya or whatever that is. I don't, panda, panda food, I don't know what it is, but so far that's how I've been getting my food. Um, when I landed here in Manila, I was able enough to talk to my taxi driver to stop, let me buy some coffee cups, some coffee, things like that because you're gonna also find that most of these hotels, they're not equipped with refrigerators, they're not equipped with uh, coffee pots in the rooms. Uh, these are basically just, unless you're staying in a four or five star hotel, all you got is a bed, a toilet, and a roof over your head. And for me, I'm not really big on this. I did this early on when I was co coming here to the Philippines. I'd get the five star hotel and you know, have all of the, the bells and whistles, but it's not worth it. You know, you're spending money for no reason. And uh, it's just ridiculous the money that's being filtered out here in the Philippines uh, for this economy. And I don't mind spending money, but after you do this a couple of times, you realize you don't need the four or five star hotel. Why, why boast about it? You know, you have money, great, well, no big deal. Uh, for me, all I need is a comfortable bed, a place to hook my computer up, and uh, a way to talk to my, my wife uh, you know, while I'm here. Uh, so with that being said, um, again, a lot of hiccups along the way. The Philippines are changing the rules of the game on a daily basis. And I urge you, uh, like I found out while I was flying that they had bumped my, day, my uh, quarantine back another day. You have to stay up on the game here because um, if you don't, there's a good chance you, you may not be able to enter the country. You may get kicked out. Uh, you may get stopped along the way, whatever it may be. Um, two other things I think I, I need to touch base on, Air Canada, the airlines there, and also um, Philippine Airlines. Be very, very careful about how you book your flights because there's a good chance that they will cancel your flight and bump you back two or three days. That happened to me on my original flight. And you know what else happened with that? $1,100 I spent for that flight, okay? Philippine Airlines bumped me back three more days so I wouldn't arrive here until the 9th. Okay, no problem. So I got back on the phone, got with Air Canada and told them, look, I need to get there on certain days and dates that I'd already booked. And with that being said, they booked me another ticket, charged me another $500, okay? No problem. So you know what I did? I called my bank. My bank, not only did they recapture that $1,100 that I spent for the first ticket, but they got it back for me and they put that back into my account. So that's something you guys should keep in mind. If you have a bank account that you buy your tickets with, always know that you can call your bank and you can dispute the charges because airlines, they don't want to give you the money back. You know, they charge you $1,100 and then they want to charge you an additional $500. Um, not because it's your fault, but because the airline decides that they want to cancel your flight and move you back three days. Well, I wouldn't have that. So my bank was cool enough to get those funds back for me. And still, I'll, I was able to fly for even cheaper. I only flew on a $500 ticket instead of a $1,100 ticket now. So keep that in mind. And uh, you guys, just stay with me. You know, like I said, I'm trying to update this as much as I can. I'm not a travel blogger. I, I, well, it's, that's not something that I do. But I do like to let people know what's going on wherever it is that I am. And right now, I'm in the Philippines. Uh, I just did a little bit of time in Vegas. I bought some new Puma shoes. Yeah, I'm happy about that. But I uh, just wanted to bring you guys up to date with where I am. And I am right now in Manila. This is my second day of my quarantine of eight days. And uh, looking forward to getting the hell out of here and uh, getting home to my beautiful wife, Filipino wife. Okay? So, I uh, love you guys. Cheers. Stay up. You guys hit me up if you have any questions, anything I can help you do with your documents, your report of marriages, your, um, your 9A visas, things like that. I've already been through all of that. A lot of you guys already know that you can get married online. Um, you know, you know that already. That's how I did it, uh, and that's how I'm allowed to come back and forth. You know, from the U.S. into into the country here. Um, so, if you have any questions that I can help you with, don't hesitate to put them on the page, man. Let me help you out with it, okay? So, take care. Hope you guys enjoy my page and follow me. Love you guys. Peace. Merry Christmas. Love everybody. Talk to you soon. Take care. Yeah.